Coach, how did Heinrich come back today? Uh, did he, was he able to practice and, and go pretty much today? Yeah, he, he was full go today. Uh, no restrictions whatsoever. Tommy Hill got a lot of snaps, a wide receiver last week. What do you like about what he brings to the offense? Uh, it's just uh, the element of speed. Uh, you know, we're still trying to figure out how to get the ball to a lot of people. Uh, you know, it doesn't have to always just be a big shot, you know, a shot play for him. Like, we can throw him intermediate balls, catch and run types of balls. So, I think he's in the process of transitioning into receiver play, and we're uh, in the process of trying to figure out, you know, the best ways to get him the ball and get him in space because he's very athletic and, and can actually, you know, very run very well. Okay, Heinrich is full goal. What about Sims? Uh, had a good practice today. They're both, you know, just splitting time, splitting reps. We're taking it day by day just to see. You know, at the end of the week, where we are, you know, from a health standpoint, from a football standpoint, but Jeff keeps getting stronger and stronger. He's not 100% yet by any means, but but he's out there practicing. Is it helpful? I mean, does it is it helpful to you that they're, I won't say the same guy, you don't have to change much in the offense? Uh, yeah, it is. I mean, because they're both, you know, can run the football, throw the football. So it's it's been a smooth transition, you know, a little bit more physical run game with Heinrich than with Jeff. But other than that, it's relatively the same. Is that number two running back spot? Does Emmett kind of have a lock on that, or is Quentin still in contention to maybe get some reps in one of these games? Uh, I wouldn't say anyone has a lock on, on any position. You know, that's coach speak. I understand that, but you know, we want guys to compete every day. Uh, I think it's by committee. I think you know Emmett's obviously got more experience at the running back position, uh, but Josh Fleeks just keeps coming on. You know, just, I just gotta I just gotta put him in the game and let him go. You know, transitioning from receiver to to run him back in the Big Ten. It's not an easy task, but he's had two really good weeks and just, you know, watching him today, had a really good day today. He's locked in, he's focused, and uh, he's committed to playing running back. Did you envision in the, in the off season when you were when you were projecting what this offense was going to look like that you would have been able to hang your hat on the amount of power that you guys showed, like let's say the first drive of the second half Saturday? No. Uh-uh. But it's a testament, I think, to what, what, what we say we are, we are, like, I don't care about stats. I don't care about anything other than winning. And that's the way coach looks at it. And we're going to do whatever we have to do to win games. If that's throw it for 600 and run it for negative 20, we'll do that. It's just whatever we have to do to win games, uh, you know, we're going to do it. I think the last two games we've done a nice job of taking care of the football. You know, if you take care of the football, you have a chance to win games. And, you know, how we're playing right now is, you know, we're going to have to, again, like I said last week, we're going to have to throw the ball. A little bit, you know, especially in these next eight weeks, we're going to have to develop our passing game even more in order to have the success we want. But to answer your question a long way, uh, I did not envision it looking exactly like it does right now, but whatever it takes. Especially in the run game, how much does the defense sort of steal you guys what you're doing, just given what they've done on their side? Uh, it's awesome. I mean, I think having a great defense like we have allows us to kind of find our way, you know, and not find our way in a bad way, but like we don't have to go out there and, you know, it, I, you've been places where three possessions in and you're down 14 to nothing and now all of a sudden you're pressing and doing weird stuff with our defense. It's like maybe it's a bad thing. They, they allow us to just kind of relax and kind of find and fit our groove. And if we go out three and out once or twice, we don't panic because we know we're going to get the ball back. You looked at that film of the game, reviewing Heinrich's performance. What stood out to you? Where does he need to work? Uh, he's got to get in shape, you know. He like the, we're giving him a hard time. Like we love the explosive runs, but if he has an explosive run, we almost have to take him out of the game because he's hyperventilating. And it was a hot game and everything, and his emotions and everything are running high. But uh, you can watch him on that one drive when we ran like nine straight runs. He's handing the ball off, and he looks like Rocky, you know, in the eighth round. He's like about to fall over. So uh, he's got to just get in shape. Uh, I mean, the kid's so tough and super competitive, and. He would do anything in the world just to have success on one play at a time, you know. So it's cool to watch him play and, and watch him grow. You mentioned uh, Fleeks doing some running back. Did, does he have a pretty good history with that? Or, or uh, I mean, it started out just, you know, just putting him in there just to, you know, because we only have two or three. And, you know, he's not getting a ton of reps at wide out, and he's a bigger body. So just letting him catch some balls and stuff. And he sneaks in there every once in a while and carries one. And today he looked pretty dang good. So maybe we can, we can grow that role. So he, he went there after the injuries? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. What's the extent of, of exposure that you've had to the option before the last few weeks? Ron Brown. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, in your coaching history, is there any, any times where no, we used option routes? Route. That's yeah. the only thing that's option routes. But, I mean, we started watching it, uh, you know, during the summer, and it's just it's so unique. It's awesome. And Coach Brown's kind of 
taken our whole staff under his wing and kind of taught us the, the way of the the way of the land from that standpoint. Anthony had a phenomenal game against Louisiana Tech. What have you seen from him, especially after you know Minnesota? Uh, again, we challenge him every day. Just you know, ball security, taking care of the football. I think that you know that's been a focus for him. Uh, you know, he's 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 known what to do on every play for the most part. So. I think he's just got to focus. He knows that we, you know, this team, his teammates need him really bad right now at this moment in time. So I think he's committed to the team and committed, committed to making sure that he's ready to roll each and every play. What's unique about Michigan? Unique challenge there with their defense. Uh, they're old, older. I mean, there's a bunch, like a couple of graduates, like I think eight graduates slash seniors. Uh, they're one sophomore corners, an NFL player already. Uh, they've got tremendous length and athleticism. They play with great physicality. You can tell they're a bunch of grown men. They're very smart. They're very rarely out of position. They play with great pad level. They tackle very well. They, they play on the ball very well. I mean, there's a reason they're the top defense in the country, uh, and it shows. And uh, it's going to be a huge test for us, you know, uh, come Saturday. But they're a really good defense. How comparable are they to, say, Georgia from last year or some of the defenses you faced? Uh, the Philadelphia Eagles. I had to play that one that had two years ago. The uh, very comparable, especially up front, like the front seven. Just the length that they play with, they shrink the box with their size, and uh, they play off blocks. I mean, their their technique just in the run game of playing behind blocks and off blocks and using their hands is, you can tell they're they're coached up very 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 well. What kind of growth have you seen from your offensive line, particularly just as run blockers and what they've been able to do last year? Uh, I think this. I mean. In today's world, you don't get to play offensive line where you're with a team who's under center and handing the ball off as much as we do from under center and getting downhill runs. I think that's a, that helps those guys and uh, you know, gives them an edge of getting downhill a little bit more than some guys that are in spread offenses are playing more laterally. We're playing downhill. So I think that's helped those guys. Um, you know, they, they just keep grinding every week. We all know our deficiencies as coaches and players, and they, you know, they attack their deficiencies and fix them you know, one at a time each day. So. Coach's mantra of 1% better, that's kind of how they live. How close is uh, you know, Tommy Hill? It seems like he's getting more reps at wide receiver. How close is he to the guy? That, like, it's like his spot where it just it fills at home for him. Uh, I'd say we're getting close. I mean, he keeps, you know, he's a super smart guy. You know, he comes in and, hey, what plays do I have? And Garrett sits down with him for about 40 minutes and he knows it, you know, and then he gets out there and we get it executed and gets more comfortable with it. So I think he's getting closer and closer. Coach, uh, Coach Rule yesterday called uh, Lyndon Meyer the guy, uh, you know, especially after his performance. W what have you seen from him and what you see on that tape? Uh, just growth, you know, I think, and confidence. Every every rep he gets, he gets more confident. And uh, the more confident you get allows you to free yourself up. And the more free you are allows you to, to play better, you know, and, and without hesitation. So I've just seen a guy that – to get more reps, get more game reps, and I think he just keeps you know, he's using it to his advantage. If he's getting reps and not getting any better, that's that's shame on us, right? So he's using the reps and improving each each and every time he's out there.